so uh, hi everyone uh, this is a video of me doing uh, a recording um, me reading you the miraculous family fanfic which is already on my channel it just doesn't have me reading it to you yet this is the reading version of it based on the show miraculous souls of labor and cat noir that's what this is about Okay, sorry. Uh, I paused because I thought my toilet was running. Um, but I think it's good. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Um, I already timed how long it takes. Um, not for the separate parts, but how long it takes in total, so I'm not gonna do the timer this time. Alright. But I might put a workout option on my device, since I will be standing <laughs> for this one. Right, so my characters are up here. You can see the characters there. There are three parts to the story. So before I start, staging action time jumps, that's MMJ. Abbreviations, as you can see right here. Um, I watched one of those videos titled Fan Theories That Are Better Than the Original, and one of them inspired this story. I also decided to add to it. I'll summarize the theory after it comes up in the story. Anyway, on with the story now. Miraculous Family, part one of three. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Mari is upset one day after school because having a secret identity and having to do her homework, she isn't, so having a secret identity and having to do her homework, she hasn't, she isn't having enough time to have a social life or have fun. She's stressed out and can't talk about it, you know, since it's her, since her identity must stay hidden. Sabine, which is, in case you forgot, Marinette's mother, um, concerned and asking nicely, sweetie, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You wouldn't understand. Sabine knowingly and repeating, so you're saying I wouldn't understand keeping a secret identity from your friends and family? Mom, what are you talking about? I would never keep anything from you. I tell you everything. Nice try, Mari. Grabbing Mari's arm and taking her up to her bed Mari's bedroom. Maybe it's best if we finish this conversation in private. Uh, the two are now in Mari's room. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, I know that you were told to keep your identity a secret, to keep everyone safe. I also know it would be very bad if Hawk Moth knew who you were. Uh, Mari is confused and surprised. Mom, how do you know that? Before I answer that, can I take a look at your earrings? And is Tiki around? Wait, how do you know Tiki? Remember when you thought I didn't understand your struggles? Yeah? Well, when you were born, I decided to give up the superhero life to raise you. So not only were you a superhero, but you and I held the same miraculous? Am I hearing that right? Yes, you are hearing right. I was the previous Ladybug Miraculous holder. Uh, predicting Mari's next question. And before you ask... Your dad already knows I was Ladybug in the past. So I know the theory was that Sabine could have uh, been the previous Ladybug. Back to the story. Um, and obviously I believe that that theory has some truth to it. So that's why I made a fanfic based on it. Um, back to the story now. Are you pulling my leg? Asked Mari in disbelief. No, sweetie. I gave my miraculous back to Master Fu. And when I knew you were ready, I told Master Fu to give you the, mar the Ladybug Miraculous. If that is true, I'm curious. Is that also a superhero? Yes, but he too gave up his Miraculous when you were born. Okay. Um, here. Uh, Tom knocks on the door. Sabine opens the door. Tom has now entered the room. Hey guys, what are you talking about? Um, 
I'm going to be honest with you, Tom, says Sabine. Mari knows I was a previous ladybug in the past, and she knows you were a superhero in the past, but she doesn't know who you were. Thanks for catching me up. But why does Mari know all that? I thought that it was supposed to be a secret. Because, Dad, I was having a hard time keeping my secrets. I was stressed, and Mom helped me understand I'm not alone. Mari, what kinds of secrets have you been keeping? You're worrying me. No need to worry. I was only hiding a secret identity, just like you guys. Wait, you have a secret identity? May I know who you are? First, yes, and second, I'll show you. Tiki, spots on. Mari has now transformed. My little girl is the famous ladybug. I'm so proud. Thanks, Dad. Um, okay, I'll, I'll try and figure out what's wrong there later. Um, hey, uh... Ladybug recalling nicely. Hey, Mom, did you... You held a miraculous in the past as well. You said you held... Mom said you held a miraculous in the past as well. What one did you have? Okay, right. That's what she's asking her dad. Um, anyway. <laughs> I forgot who she was asking for a minute there. Um, what did you have? What, what one did you have? Mine was a ring, says Tom, which I used to become the cat noir of my generation. So I know that's what I added to... That's what I added was that Tom was the previous cat noir. That's what I added to the theory. Anyway, back to the story now. That's right. I was cat noir before I even knew I wanted to be a baker. That's so cool. Tiki, spots off. <sighs> Says Ladybug. Ladybug has now de-transformed. Yes, it was, Mari. You want to know something even cooler? Sure, why not? I think I know who the current cat noir is. So I know I also added that to the previous to added that the previous holders can sense who currently has their old miraculouses. Back to the story now. Awesome. Uh Mari requests, don't tell me. I kinda like the mystery. Okay, I won't say anything. I will, however, tell you this. I'm gonna dress up in a costume and see if my suspicion is right. So I'll see you when I get back. Tom is now at the Aggress Mansion. A.K.A. Adrian's house. Um, Tom is now claiming to be Adrian's therapist. Natalie is now in Adrian's room with Tom behind her. Adrian, your father hired a therapist for you. Adrian uh, nicely says, tell him I say thank you. Natalie has left, so it's now just Tom and Adrian in Adrian's room. Tom is attempting to disguise his voice. So, Adrian, are you feeling... I feel like there's two E's in that. How are you feeling? And you can be honest, this info is confidential. If you don't want your parents to know, I won't tell them. Well, clearly, <laughs> Adrian thinks, well, clearly it's Mari's dad, but... I have nothing better to do right now, so I'll play along. And genuinely says, well, honestly, I'm, I'm sad. Because um, my mom disappeared a year ago, uh, and I'm, I'm crushing on this girl, but I... <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm freaking out thinking that someone in the household is going to hear me uh, reading this to you out of context and question me about it. <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, <laughs> and I don't really want to answer all these dumb, dumb questions like that. Um, anyway, I'm going to get back to the story now. Um, um, explains here. But any time I try and ask her out, she rejects me because she likes someone else, says Adrian. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry that your mom has disappeared, says Tom. Now, I'm curious, who's your crush? 
you can't can't tell um my dad who it, she is okay says adrian my lips are sealed says tom okay it's ladybug okay wow i can't believe this she's gonna be so happy to hear that wait you sound like you know ladybug is this true yes i know ladybug i also know the reason she's always rejecting cat noir how do you know she rejects cat noir because, Adrian, I acted the same way towards the ladybug of my generation, says Tom. I would do anything just to get a date with her. <laughs> Adrian, leaning in, leaning forward with interest. And did you ever get a date with her? Yes, I did. Leaning forward with interest again. How? Please tell me. I will answer that question. I will answer that question later. Adrian, where do you keep your camembert? Wait, do you like camembert? Because you'd be the first person I meet that does. Gosh, no. I don't like it, but I know Plate does. Adrian leaning back, both confused and scared. How exactly do you know that? Because, Adrian, I used to be Cat Noir. Wait, what? <laughs> does, does Mari know? Wait, how long have you known it was me? And to answer your question, yes, Mari knows. I've known since you walked into my room, says Adrian. Tom changes the topic. I have to tell you something, Adrian. Should I be worried? No. I have to tell you that I know you're the current Cat Noir. And before you ask, Mari doesn't know who you are. Adrian trying to derail his train of thought. What makes you think I'm Cat Noir? Well, one, you know Plague. And two, your ring is obviously... A Miraculous, uh, ring is obviously a miraculous in camel mode. Uh, tells, counting with his fingers, and three, you, you and Kano have, are way too similar to be two different people. So am I right? I promise not to tell Mari. You're right, and I appreciate you not telling Mari. Now, can you tell me how you got a date with the ladybug of your generation? Yes, we were only a thing once we found out who each other was under the mask. So I'm going to have to wait till Ladybug gets unmasked to get a date with her. Yes. Darn. Well, that's the end of this set our session. Handing over an index card. Here's my number. You know, if you want to talk about your secret identity with someone who understands, Adrian accepts the card. Thanks. It's the next day. Adrian has noticed that Mari is currently putting stuff in her locker. The two are the only ones in the locker room at the moment. Adrian has just walked in to Mar walked up to Mari. Sorry. Adrian has just walked up to Mari. Hi, Mari. Oh, hey, Adrian. Hi, hey, Adrian. So the weirdest thing happened yesterday, says Adrian. Mari hopefully says... Please tell me this doesn't involve my dad showing up at your place wearing a costume. How did you know that, says Adrian. Wait, he showed up at your place? Yes, why do you ask? Mari thinks, Dad said his theory was right, but he never said who it was. And since he was at Adrian's place yesterday, means Adrian is Cat Noir. Mari faints after the realization. That is it for part one. I hope you enjoyed this story. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day.